Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a little bit of a different video because in this video we'll talk about the ZK Sync airdrop. So in this video I'll show you steps on how to maximize your chances at getting ZKS. That's their token or at least that's what we think their token is. It has not been confirmed. Uh, and this is if CK Sync does an airdrop in the future. Also not confirmed uh, and it might never come, but there's a chance that it will happen. And especially with the success that we have seen with the Arbitrum uh, airdrop, but also with some uh, with some more regulatory pressure uh, against ICOs and sometimes IDOs. An airdrop is actually an excellent way of launching your token. Um, so in this video, I will be open about how much money I use uh, for the things I have done, for the steps I've done to uh, to optimize my chances at getting uh, the, the ZKS token airdrop. Uh, and I will show you all the steps in detail and all the links you will need to do these steps are down in the description as well. So I just wanted to make a long intro, uh, tell you about it, tell you that this airdrop is not guaranteed. But if it does happen, hopefully these steps can, uh, can provide you with some nice airdropped ZKS tokens. So now let's actually get into the video. All right, now let's get right into this video. Uh, I do want to say at the start that if you have any questions about anything, because for some of you, I know that some of these uh, actions uh, are going to be hard because we are really going to optimize our usage of blockchain technology uh, and uh, and go in full DeFi. Uh, so that's what we'll do. I think a lot of you know how to do that, but if you don't, uh, please, first of all, be careful, check out some tutorials online. Uh, and then do that because the first step of what you're going, uh, going to have to do is you're going to have to create a MetaMask account. I will provide a link down in the description for a video of how to um, how to create a MetaMask account and also on how to add funds to it because what you have to do is you have to uh, have a MetaMask account which is basically a software wallet. It's where you can have crypto and you have to add the CK Sync ERA mainnet which is their blockchain network. Here you can see what you have to fill in. If you go to MetaMask and uh, you go to your networks, you can click add network. I will provide a link down in the description as well on how to easily add this network. Uh, but here you can see some of the things uh, or all the things you have to fill in. So you can see this as well. Just copy it. Uh, and you have to add the network to your MetaMask. Now, the following step has to do with this as well. And again, about MetaMask, what you have to do is for all of the steps we're going to do, you have to have some money. You have to have some funds in Ethereum uh, to actually do it. So what you have to do then is in your MetaMask, to your Ethereum network wallet, you have to send Ethereum. Now, personally, I have sent about um, 0 0.7 Ethereum, so that's about $1,300, perhaps a bit more right now, um, to the Ethereum network. And then the first step, the first thing which we're going to do is we're going to bridge those assets, bridge that Ethereum over to the CK Sync network. So you have it on Ethereum, we're going to bridge it to CK Sync. All right, so that brings us to the first uh, page and the first link we're going to visit, which is bridge.ckSync.io. But again, all the links will be down in the description. So here we're going to bridge our Ethereum from the CK Sync era, uh, from Ethereum to the CK Sync era mainnet. I've already done that. What you basically do on this website is you see deposit, you fill in all of your Ethereum because we're going to bridge it all over to the CK Sync era mainnet, and then you just uh, click deposit. You'll need enough Ethereum in your wallet as well uh, to pay the gas fees. So you cannot transfer everything. Leave a little bit for the gas fees. Click deposit and very easily you have now bridged your assets from Ethereum to the CK Sync uh, network, which is the first step in this process. Will already uh, give you a chance to have some CKS tokens airdrop to you. All right, so the next step, what we're going to do, so step one was creating the MetaMask account uh, and, uh, and and connecting to the CK Sync era mainnet. Uh, then we transferred Ethereum to MetaMask and bridged it over to the network uh, we sign up to. And now third of all, you will need to interact with ecosystem decentralized applications built on the CK Sync network. And as many as possible, as much as possible, and as long as possible. So throughout the next months, interact with them, uh, interact more often, swap tokens, all of that, just use the network, then your chances of tokens uh, is, um, is, is great. So I have an overview of what I've done so far, and I will show you how to do these steps uh, in, in the following few minutes. Um, but as the CK Sync era mainnet has just gone live, more interaction opportunities will become available in the next few months, and I will update you on these. So more decentralized applications will come to CK Sync, and interacting with them can provide you a better chance of getting the airdrop. 
So here you can see what I've done so far. I will do more, but this is what I've done so far. So you can also see uh, how much Ethereum I've bridged, first of all, uh, then where and, uh, and what I swapped it for. If you want this document, I can send it to you. I think all the steps are in this video as well, but still. The first website we're going to, and again, all the links will be down in the, uh, in the pinned comments or the description, is syncswap.xyz. And here I'm actually going to show you how to swap it. What we're basically going to do is we're going to swap Ethereum for USDC or USDC for, for Ethereum, but we have bridged Ethereum over, so we have Ethereum. I still have 0.21 right now. So for example, I will bridge over 0.1 to USDC. What you do then is you just press swap if everything is correct, $175 for $174 back, which is, you know, fine, you'll lose some money. That is what will happen uh, when you're uh, doing these actions. But you press swap, you approve it in your MetaMask wallet, there you click confirm and it's very easy. Then you have done that. You've bought some USDC for your Ethereum. That's the first thing we're going to do on SyncSwap. The second thing is we're going to add liquidity to a liquidity pool. So you press pools up here, goes to the USDC Ethereum uh, pool. And what you'll do is you have to deposit something in the pool. I already have something in it as well, about $200. Uh, but what you do is you deposit, you press for example, 150 USDC um add tokens in balance proportion you do as well you have to add as much in value as in usdc as in ethereum uh, you press unlock usdc which basically you need to do uh, for metamask uh, so that the website so that metamask knows that you uh, that the website is allowed to get your uh, usdc press confirm then you press deposit and you have added to the liquidity pool now this we are not only going to do, I'm going to have to confirm that in MetaMask as well. Very easy to be honest, but now you have added it to the liquidity pool. So now you can see that I have over uh, or a little bit less than $500 in assets in the liquidity pools on SyncSwap. We're going to do the same thing. This is all the same step on Space Swap as well. So here it, it works exactly the same. You can swap from Ethereum to USDC. And then at the very top, you can see the pool. You say add liquidity to Ethereum against USDC, for example. And then you can add liquidity here as well. It, it works exactly the same as SyncSwap. And we're also going to do it on mute swap or mute.switch. Again, all the links will be down in the description. First of all, we will swap Ethereum, in this case, I think, against USDC. That's what we're going to do first. And then we're going to uh, go to the menu up here, go to pool and add to the USDC Ethereum pool as well. So that we have now interacted with three different decentralized DeFi applications and we have swapped on them and we have added liquidity to them. So that's step number three, if I'm correct. Now, the next thing we're going to do is mint our own NFT on mintsquare.io. Uh, if you go to that website, all the links are down in the description. At the top menu, you press the ZK Sync Era mainnet, and then you go to mint. There you will just have to, or just upload a picture, which is going to be your own NFT. I created an NFT uh, off of the logo of Selenix Crypto. Uh, you have to give it the name and then just very easily press mint. And once you press mint, it will take you back to MetaMask. There you will have to pay the gas fee to actually create the NFT. Just confirm that if the gas fee is not too high, you will all be able to see that in, main, in the mainnet. And then you have minted your own NFT, which is also one thing that could be considered in the airdrop. You can see for me right now, I have my uh, my own NFT minted, the Selenix Crypto NFT. So if you want to buy that, uh, go to mintsquare.io and uh, give me some offers, uh, at least uh, 10 Ethereum. So, and the next step is, is we're going to go to crew3.xyz slash zksync. But again, links are down in the description. And here we're going to complete tasks. So basically this is a, a dashboard of different quests um, made by Crew3 in cooperation with ZK Sync, which allows you to uh, become higher up in the Discord of ZK Sync. Uh, so this has no direct correlation to the airdrop yet, uh, but it's a very small effort. I mean, I haven't completed all tasks yet. I have completed some very small effort and it does uh, create some goodwill and some potential for the CKS airdrop. So I would definitely recommend you to do this as well. Who knows what developments and who knows what kind of new things this uh, this this cooperation between ZK Sync and Crew3 will bring. 
um, in relation to the airdrop. All right, now on to the last step. So what we just talked about is first of all, to bridge your Ethereum over to the CK Sync era mainnet. Uh, we talked about interacting with the DeFi applications. So Sync Swap, Space Swap and Mute Switch. Uh, swapping assets on there but also adding to liquidity pools so really using the network we minted our own nft and we completed quests for ck sync now apart from that the biggest thing i think for this airdrop is going to be continued usage of the platform bridge assets over to ethereum again and then back to uh, the ck sync uh, mainnet, use the DeFi services more often, swap different tokens, add to liquidity pools, withdraw from uh, liquidity pools, mint NFTs, and most importantly, uh, stay up to date with the CK Sync ecosystem. And when new decentralized apl applications come out, interact with them, use them, use the network. I think that's the most important thing if you actually want to be eligible for this air airdrop. What they essentially want is that they want to airdrop the tokens to people who have actually used the mainnet, used the centralized applications for different purposes. And that's what you're going to have to do. The mainnet of CK Sync, the ERA mainnet has just launched. Uh, so these are um, just a few things you can do already, but in the future, there will definitely be more things you can do. Uh, sub so subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter if you want more uh, updates on that. But for now, uh, these are the steps to actually increase your chances and to be eligible for the CKS airdrop. So let me know if you have any questions, but for now, take care and bye.